In this demo, we show how to replicate database from Azure SQL Managed Instance with SQL Server 2022 update policy to SQL Server 2022 using the Managed Instance Link feature and SQL Server Management Studio. To replicate database from SQL Managed Instance to SQL Server using the Link feature, right-click on the database and select New in the Azure SQL Managed Instance Link menu. On the Specify Link Options screen, choose the link name. It is recommended to leave the default values for failover intent and connectivity troubleshooting settings. On the Requirements screen, the readiness of the SQL Managed Instance is assessed to configure a link. On the Select Databases screen, select one or more databases to configure a link for. For encrypted databases, a non-blocking warning message is shown to ensure that the target SQL Server has access to the Customer Managed TDE Protector used in SQL Managed Instance. On Specify Secondary Replica screen, click on Add Secondary Replica button to select the SQL Server instance to configure the link to. This instance will host the secondary replica of the replicated database. Endpoint settings can be left on default values. On Login to Azure screen, click on Sign In button to log in to Azure. On the validation screen, the readiness of the SQL Server instance is assessed to configure a link. On the summary screen, all configuration steps to be executed by the wizard are listed. To see which commands are to be executed in each step, optionally click on the script button. Alternatively, use the generated script for creation of additional links at scale. On the results screen, the execution status of link configuration steps can be monitored. Should an error occur during any of the steps, the details can be obtained by clicking on the error status in the details column. After all execution steps have been successfully executed, the link has been configured between SQL Managed Instance and SQL Server. After creating a new link, an additional distributed availability group becomes visible in Object Explorer on SQL Managed Instance, with the primary availability replica hosted on the SQL Managed Instance and the secondary availability replica hosted on the SQL Server. On SQL Server, a new database is created, which is the secondary replica of the database with the same name on the SQL Managed Instance. This completes the demo.